What's going on guys? Welcome back to Far Cry 5 on Black Tide TV, more specifically the Far Cry 5 review series here on Black Tide TV where I've been dividing my review of Far Cry 5 into a number of more in-depth pro and con videos. In today's episode, I'd like to discuss the religious fear tactics of Far Cry 5. When this game was first announced to be taking place in Montana and the main antagonist would be a religious cult, there was some outcry in the world of pop culture. It was really thought that this game was going to be a political game, a very statement-heavy game about Middle Americans, but it turns out that isn't exactly the case, at least in most portions of the game. But I do really like how they've introduced the horror aspects to this game where it counts. So here we're in a prepper stash. This is the O'Hara's Haunted House, which is just on the edge of Henbane River. That's Faith's region if you wanted to check it out. I thought this would be the perfect time to talk about some of the scarier parts of Far Cry 5, which I think it's an awesome element to have in the game. Now, of course, Ubisoft's Far Cry franchise has never really been known for stepping outside of its comfort zone, and so you can't expect too much when injecting horror into an action-adventure first-person shooter franchise, but they do a fantastic job of really getting to you in certain parts of the story specifically. The haunted house is a little bit of a gimmick. There were a couple jump scares that got me, and there are things that will happen in the game that will definitely take you off guard. You'll be exploring the wilderness and a wolf will attack from nowhere and you will have had no notice of this wolf attacking you and it will shock you sometimes. But I'm more specifically referring to the story elements where you are kind of in this redneck America kind of terror zone. It happens right away, the very beginning of this game, you're walking into a compound filled with this religious cult and the militia and you are completely outmatched. All of these guys are really sketchy looking. You're going into the church. It's very Outlast 2 where you are kind of forced into this strange, unfamiliar territory and that's what really puts you on edge. It kind of makes your skin crawl. It isn't a scary experience per se. It's just a more uncomfortable experience. And the way they've used the religious fear tactics in that way, I think are fantastic. There are a couple moments like that where you'll be captured by the Seed family and they'll put you in a torture chamber or some kind of torture device and then you have to escape and you see what this faith militant is doing to the people of the region and it, it just makes your skin crawl. So while they haven't made a political statement about religion and about the politics and whatever of middle America, which a lot of people were expecting, the game doesn't go that far, it doesn't get that deep. At the end of the day, it's still Far Cry, you're still running around shooting people, skinning animals, clearing outposts. At its core, Far Cry 5 is your run-of-the-mill first-person shooter action-adventure game, but they do dabble in horror and comedy and thriller and other things that really make the game feel more immersive. So that is a big positive for me. I do like how they've injected this Outlast 2 redneck horror feel into some of those cutscenes, some of those more tense moments in the story. And I think they should have done a little bit more with it. They could have really gone full scare. But I think the way that they have it balanced with the comedy of certain parts of the game and just the outlandishness of the game, it just makes for a better experience. So that's what I have to say about the religious fear tactics of Far Cry 5. Do you find the game offensive in any way when it comes to religion or politics? Let me know in the comment section down below. I personally feel as though the anti-PC direction of the game was more a marketing campaign than anything because the game itself does not offend me or any of my views on politics or religion. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.